everyone and welcome back to a series I like to call Cooking Like a Sim. I am in fact not high, but just the fact that I have put all of the ingredients in front of me like I'm on the fucking Food Network is making me giggle. Could you imagine me doing a cooking show high? I don't want to know how that would go, but it's a good suggestion. Okay, anyway, so. In this series that so far now only has two episodes, I take a recipe from The Sims 4, watch my Sim cook that recipe, and try to replicate it. This episode, we're gonna be focusing on butternut gnocchi, which, I mean, I'm assuming I'm saying gnocchi, right? Gnocchi doesn't sound good. I'm gonna go with gnocchi. Butternut gnocchi is a recipe that you can find under gourmet cooking in The Sims. You have to have cooking level five to unlock the gourmet cooking, and then you need level two, I think, of gourmet cooking skill to be able to cook butternut gnocchi. In real life, I have cooking skill minus 6.7 and gourmet cooking skill minus 3,784. So this is gonna go splendid. Now, I have with me here a little screen recording of my sim, who I believe I called Cherry Bakewell, who is pretty much a master of cooking, so we're not very alike. I've got a video of her here cooking the butternut gnocchi and we're gonna watch it together. Quite frankly, her recipe is really, really unrealistic. Now, you can see on her chopping board, she's got eggs, butter, and flour, but there's no, uh, there's no butternut squash in her hands, and screw trying to do that. What is that ingredient? I have no idea. Why does she keep pulling out this weird bottle? No chance. Salt, pepper, seasoning. Oh, I'm a good cook. Oh, fuck you. And then she's taking this weird doughy thing. Okay, it just it just becomes knocky. As you can see, this recipe is not very helpful whatsoever. If I were to try and make butternut knocky the way that Cherry Bakewell made it, it would just be eggs, flour, and butter in a dough, chop the dough and stick it in a boiling pan of water. I don't really know if that would make very good butternut squash gnocchi. Maybe that's just me. So I have in fact found a recipe online that may help this process be a little bit easier. I doubt it because this is way more advanced than the gummy bear pancakes. So for this recipe, you will need some butternut squash. This recipe calls for two butternut squash, but I don't need to make that much. It says it needs to be halved, de-seeded, and cut into wedges. Guess who found pre-wedged butternut squash in the supermarket, bitches? Two garlic cloves, a sprig of thyme. This wasn't a decoration. Do you think this is enough? Two tablespoons of olive oil, some freshly grated nutmeg, except where I live in my supermarket, they didn't have any, and I don't have any dried either. So we're just not gonna put nutmeg in. I didn't see Cherry Bakewell put it in, so I think we're gonna be fine. One egg. Sorry, vegans. Up to four tablespoons of flour. That worries me, up to. That means they're making me judge quantities. 140 grams of Parmesan grated. <laughs> I found it pre-grated. <laughs> Cause fuck doing that. And then for the sauce, you're gonna need some butter, sage leaves, do I look like I live in a place that sells sage? No. And one red chili, but we know that I don't do well with chili, so I'm leaving that out. I'm just gonna put butter in it, I think. I'm doing this as I go along. I haven't pre-prepped this. I haven't made any of this before. All I've done is preheat my oven to gas mark seven, which is apparently what this calls for. Heat oven, yeah, already ahead of you. Tip the squash into a roasting tray. Well, I don't have a tray, so I'm just gonna use a dish. Toss with the garlic, thyme, and olive oil. It didn't say chop the garlic. Do I need to chop the garlic? Hmm. Of course, today we have the help of my G7X, so. Hooray! Toss with the garlic, thyme, and olive oil, and then season. I'll go with two, because I like garlic. It keeps my enemies away. And my friends, because my breath stinks. Also, this video wasn't sponsored. EA, come back, back, back. I'll even buy the My First Pet stuff if you spawn me. Yeah, I'd go that far. So I'm just, I mean, I, I assume I actually had to put it in whole, but nah. time. Is that a sprig of time? What's a sprig? I mean, you could go, you could say that like, you could say that that was a sprig, or you could say that that is a sprig. 
I'm just gonna put in loads because flavor is good. Glug, 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 bitches. Believe it or not, that's me not using much. You are what you eat. Have some pepper in there. I actually hate pepper, but it makes the dish look good. Loving my choices. Okay, okay. I have tossed for long enough. Look at my hands now, look at my hands. Oh, it doesn't even come off because they're so oily. Cover the dish with foil and roast for 40 minutes. Jesus. All right, so now that's in my oven, I'm gonna do it for like, 35 minutes because I didn't use two butternut squash. I used one so should lower the cooking time a little bit, but we'll see. Okay, so it's been about 35 minutes. I'm going to take this out, see what it looks like, and then we'll carry on. All right, let's see what it looks like. Hell yeah! That looks all right. That looks pretty damn soft to me. It's also super steamy in here, but yeah, look at that. So when the squash is cool enough to handle, Remove the flesh, mine didn't have any, <laughs> and use a spatula to force it through a fine sieve. Tip into a clean pan, then gently cook for 30 to 40 minutes. You're kidding me! My sim took like 20 seconds. It also says wait until it's cool, but I do not have the patience for that. So if I just, just like, oh my God, that's not gonna happen, is it? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just, I'm just gonna stick it all in there and then just mash it like that. Okay, it's done. Um, this took like 20 minutes or so, just straining it through a sieve. Now my hand hurts a lot. But apparently I need to put this, or an actual pan, uh, back into the oven again until it's firm enough to come off the side, like until it's some sort of like mass. I don't know. I'm gonna guess. Okay, so it's been the amount of time they said I'm not confident this is done. This still looks pretty wet. I do not know how this is gonna go. Oh, this is so wet. Not in a good way. There's like nothing has changed. This is just warmed up ever so slightly. It's not a good sound to make when you're supposed to be a pliable dough. All right, well, you know what? I don't, I don't give a fuck. All right. I don't even want to eat this. It looks disgusting. That's not squash. It's horrible. Sue me. It's gross. I am not going to be using scales for this. Egg, go. Up to four tablespoons of flour. I am going to need so much more flour than that. This is going to be the grittiest piece of shit you've ever seen. Oh, this is so wet and smells disgusting now. Why? Oh my God. This was such a bad idea. Why didn't I just leave it in the oven for longer? Isn't this gonna taste disgusting? If it's all flour? Oh no! <laughs> it's fine, this is what a sim with low cooking skill does, right? <laughs> oh my god! There's flour everywhere! Oh my god, this is actually probably the worst thing I've ever attempted. How is this an actual recipe that I found on the internet? How does this exist? Who goes, I want to make some butternut gnocchi. Mmm, fucking delicious. This looks and smells like what I imagine hell to be like. But I'm gonna try and work it into a soft, pliable dough. It's real sticky right now and I don't think that's a good thing. That means not enough flour, right? If it's sticky? Yeah, yeah, it's got to. It literally just smells of flour. I'm just gonna be eating flour. Just gonna massage it in gently. Like, like a delicate woman. I'm literally giving this Noki a really sensual massage right now. Fucking actually, hang on a minute. This is kind of working? Oh my God, you can't be shitting me. Have I somehow saved this dough? It was not four tablespoons, but the cheese appears to have helped. Checkmate, vegans, that's a joke. Please don't kill me. Please don't protest in front of my house, please. I know you're right. Whilst this looks disgusting and probably tastes disgusting, I'm gonna give it a go because you know what they say? <laughs> don't knock it until you try it. Wasn't even that good, but it's 
tickling me. That recipe is so wrong. I was misled, I was led astray, and it hurts. What the fuck do I do now? I don't get it. Somebody teach me the cook. What that stupid Sim do? She was like flying it around her head and shit. Yeah, no. I mean, look, it's still bad in the middle. It's still not right. It's still doing that ripping thing, and I know that's bad. I know dough shouldn't be doing that, but then you don't want to overwork it, do you? I think that's the problem. Have I overworked my dough? How do you overwork dough? What happens if you overwork dough? I don't know. Can all of you 15 year olds who have been baking for half your life, can you comment down below what I did wrong? Because I love being told what I've done wrong by people half my age. So if you could let me know, that would be great. Bring a large pan of water. Cut the strip into little pillows about three centimeters long. What the fuck is a little pillow? Don't describe something as cut it into a little pillow. Do I look like I need your stupid semantics right now? I'm gonna say that's about right. I really don't have hope right now, but that's okay. Hold on to hope if you got it. Don't let it go for nobody. They say that knock is free. I wouldn't care if it knock is. Now I need to boil a large pan. I don't think this, I don't think this is too big. And they're not the same size. <laughs> oh boy, you are what you eat. All right, we got a rolling boil. We've got our gnocchi. And apparently they only need like one minute in here, so let's find out what happens. Now we just wait a million years before deciding they're never gonna float. <laughs> That's so bad. It's just flour. <laughs> it's like all flour. What am I gonna do? <laughs> no, really, it's been a pretty fucking long afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Life is a mess. Life is a mess. I am a mess. I can't taste any vodka. Have I become that sad? <laughs> I'm immune to vodka now. <laughs> Guys, this is batshit. They're actually fucking floating. What the fuck? I didn't think they actually would. Oh god. So now I have to like get them out? Oh shit. Okay. Alright. This is this is something. I didn't read ahead. I didn't I didn't think they'd actually it, okay. Oh my god, they've gone like hard. <gasps> what the fuck? They're like hard and chewy and bouncy. Oh my god, what the fuck has happened to them? <gasps> oh my god. Have they actually like cooked? Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't see them being cooked, I'll be honest. I think they're probably really flowery in the middle. But I've put them in ice water, like it said. Not that the sim fucking bothered. Poof, it was on the plate. Has anyone got a dehydrator? <laughs> they're so gross. They're so gross. Heat the grill to high. I've never used this grill, so this could be fun. I don't think my grill works. So, so I don't fucking know anymore. They're not supposed to feel gunky, but they definitely feel gunky. So, rest in peace. It would help if I put the oven on. They really do look like chicken nuggets. Oh my God, they're like hard on the outside and bouncy in the middle. I don't know if that's what they're supposed to do. Like legit, they just look like chicken dippers or something. Like look, they're kind of, I mean, they're bouncy. They just got hard skin on the outside. I don't know if this is what, I've never had gnocchi in my life. I'll be completely honest with you. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's done. I don't know, I've literally given up. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have ever seen that uh, show Nailed It on Netflix. It's really good, by the way. Not a spawn, but if they wanna, this is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what it, does look like holy shit it looks ah uh, some it looks like something i don't know what but it looks like something all right well it's taken me all day it's that time <laughs> in the video where i try this shit and try not to 
be ill. Oh my god, it feels hard and middle. This is not good. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. There is no butternut squash in this. It's just flour. <laughs> it's so bad. It was chewy. <laughs> let me um, let me try and cut one of these things up for you. There's the inside. It's just raw dough. It's just completely raw dough. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I'll survive to be able to do another one. But uh, butternut knocky, it's a definite fail for me. This was a this is a waste of an entire afternoon. It's been so sunny, and I spent it <laughs> boiling dough. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall catch you later if I don't fucking die. <laughs>